Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, talk about ratio and we're going to talk about something called part to part, whole to part, and part to whole. When we're talking about ratio, you have to remember that we're comparing two things. So if we, for example, have a class of 20 children and the class is made up of 11 boys and 9 girls, we have two things that we can compare, all right? But we also have the class, all right, which has 20 children. Okay? So, in a part-to-part -part comparison, if we were looking at ratio and just part-to-part, -part, then we would say maybe uh, there are 11 to 9 boys. Alright? So, like, there are 11 boys to 9 girls. So, this is a part-to-part -part relationship we're looking at this part and we're looking at this part and we're comparing them. In a part to whole comparison we might be looking at just comparing one of these two parts to the whole class. Okay, to the whole class. So we might write that as if we were talking about the boys we might say uh, 11 to 20. Alright, where the 20 is the number of children in the class and the 11 is the number of boys. So this is a part to whole ratio. All right? We can also write a ratio as a whole to part. So if we, if we wanted to, we could uh, be comparing the entire class of 20 children to, say, maybe the girls. Okay? So we would say 20 to 9. All right, so you can see that we're taking the whole, which is the 20 again, and the part, which in this case is the girls, okay? And that's what we mean when we talk about part-to-part -part and whole-to-part and part-to-whole comparisons. Um, this is all ratio. These are all ratios. These are all correct. These are just different ways of looking at uh, different comparisons that we can make when we're given uh, one two, three facts about a class. Okay? I hope you found that useful. Good luck.